Just staying is in the starting line as well. Also, another new addition is er, another person who's been in the starting line is number 24, Logan Carter, number 32, Sabrina Jones, and number 50, Sierra Coleman. As I said, we for the tip today. The Marlins have begun the season 3-11, and 11 and the Mustangs are off to a 4-6 and six start. Both teams coming off of a win in their last game. The Mustangs with only six players dressing out for tonight's game. That's some good defense there by Sierra Coleman to stop a layup on the drive. And back comes Javante White. Sierra Coleman just misses a point-blank layup right in front of the rim. I expect this one to be a really not – Low scoring game here for both teams. Both teams really focus on defense on each end. Yeah, I expect this to be more of a defensive game for sure. But you never know what can happen in college basketball, especially. I see Eric Coleman's down with the defensive rebound back to Javante White. So they push it ahead to Sabrina Jones. There's no fouls called as there was a lot of contact there. Marlins doing a good job here earlier, pushing the ball ahead and trying to get easy points in transition. It's just Sabrina Jones will take a jumper and it'll roll off the rim. Man-to-man -man defense here for both teams. Both teams so far doing a good job of running the floor and pushing the break as the Mustangs turn it over. Marlins still using that three-guard set. Mustangs are more of a, and also in a man to man. Sierra Coleman misses another layup inside. Marlins have the matchup here on defense. Mustangs look to slow the pace a little bit here early on. Both teams seem to be tr be rushing here a little bit at the beginning of the game. Listen, and a nice defensive rebound as back comes Jess Jennings. He's, she'll push the ball out, out to Logan Carter for the jumper. And she'll knock it down. Logan Carter is really kind of founded her role on this team as a spot up shooter from the mid range and from three point land. That really is her shot. And with Jess Jennings moving up the court, yeah. her excellent ball skills, definitely able to find the open man. Jennings doing a great job of playing defense as well as pushing the ball ahead and transition and starting her own fast break. It's Carter down with a defensive rebound. She's called for a double dribble. Marlins turn it back over to the Mustangs. <coughs> it's Carrington Towns inbound the ball for the Mustangs. So we have a wedgie here. <laughs> the ball is stuck between the, the side of the backboard and the rim. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> they had to get Taylor Major to get the ball unstuck from the rim in the back in the backboard. Major, a fan favorite here at Virginia Westland, as he got a big ovation last weekend as the Marlins men's basketball team won. He probably takes a bow after that. Yeah, <laughs> he's very well liked around Virginia Westland. Mustangs with a little bit of the zone out, out in the front. It's a nice pass there by Javante White. Sierra Coleman grabs the offensive rebound. She can't convert. Marlins up two zip here early on in the first quarter. But back to what you were saying, I think this will be a defensive game and more of a grinded out game for both teams. It's one of those games where every shot matters. Yeah, yeah. So three is off the mark. Jennings down with another defensive rebound. She'll go through the lane with a little Euro step. She's turned back. Back to Jennings. We have an air ball here for three. Sierra Coleman is stripped. Some good defense there by the Mustangs. Yeah. Able to look at a push up the floor. Both teams really kind of struggling here in the early going of this game. Kind of struggling on the offensive end, trying to find the groove. Trying to find the rhythm. It's 
It's a nice screen there by Sabrina Jones. And she'll convert on the layup. Jones doing a great job of staying solid and setting a good pick. Marlins jumped out to a 4 0 lead here. <clears throat> Jaday Edmonds is turned back by Jess Jennings. His number 35, Danielle Lanner, will check in for the Marlins for Sierra Coleman. Jennings doing a good job of playing some solid defense there. Sabrina Jones looks for the long outlet pass. As it is knocked away by number 15, Judea Edmonds. That ball belonged to the Marlins. <clears throat> Sabrina Jones working early on the offensive glass. She draws the foul. And she'll go to the free throw line for two. Sabrina Jones is a big rebounder for this Marlins team. Averages over seven boards a game. Definitely. That is Judea Edmonds' first foul again. <clears throat> Jones hits the first free throw. Marlins are now out to a 5 nothing lead. Knock down both free throws. Marlins lead here with just under six minutes left to play in the first quarter by score six to nothing. As we've seen a lot of contact here early from both teams on on the defensive end, but we haven't seen any or the one foul call. Sabrina Jones just hit two free throws at the line, but that was it. Good defense there by Javante White. Yeah. Marlins always, or the Marlins guards have done a good, pretty good job the last couple of games of trying to stay aggressive on the defensive end and force steals and blocks to get in the transition and get some easy shots. As Edmonds will convert the tough layup on the drive. She does a good job of playing through contact. That's one of the key standouts for this Mustangs offense. Today, Edmonds averages over 16 points a game. Mm -hmm. Brandon Jones keeps her head up and she finds Carter out of the double team. The ball stay with the Marlins. As Latoria Gravely checks into the game for number 10, Jess Jennings. As well as number 34, Clarice Smith for the Mustangs. <clears throat> Sabrina Jones goes out the loose ball and she puts it in for two. Jones has an early six points on the game. Yeah, it's important that she. I think it's important that she gets off to a good start as she fouled out in the last game, and she she also struggled from the field. Yeah. Sabrina Jones with a nice block there on defense, doing a good job of going straight up. As Logan Carter is turned back. As we'll have immediate timeout. Marlins lead 8 to 2, and we'll be right back.
and we're back from that short media timeout. There's a Marlins lead by a score of eight to two here. Sabrina Jones down with yet another offensive rebound. So Mustang forced the jump ball. Barnes with some full court pressure here. Some good defense there by Garvey. Yeah, doing a good job of sliding her feet. That pass is tipped out of bounds by Logan Carter. Checking in for the Marlins, number 33, Mack McSweeney. Number 33, Mack McSweeney is checked into the game for the Marlins. Down with the rebound, and back comes Devontae White. White to McSweeney. She'll pull up for a jumper. As we have yet another wedge here in the early going of this game. <laughs> Not often you see one of those, let alone two in a game. It's just Jennings checks back into the game for the Marlins. Finally get it unstuck. Multiple in the first quarter there. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I'm swinging around it. Daniel landing back to McSweeney. McSweeney was trying to find Sabrina Jones inside, but the pass is stolen. Pass is stolen by number 11, Judea Edmonds. It's coming with some good, uh, with some good defense there. As Latoya Gravely is fouled by Judea Edmonds. That'll be her first foul of the game. It's coming really doing a good job of staying straight up and not fouling. Marlins jumped out to an 8 2 lead here in the first quarter. Less than three and a half minutes to go. And this is Brandon Jones. She's fouled. She'll go back to the free throw line. Josh Jennings doing a good job of finding Sabrina Jones there on the inside. That'll be Evans' third foul of the game. And Sarita Smith checks back into the game for the Mustangs. Stearns knocks down the first free throw. She'll knock down both free throws. Jones doing a good job of taking her time like she did the first time at the free throw line. To convert on both of those free throws. She's up to eight points on the game here in the first quarter. Victoria Glaver does a good job to cut her man, uh, to slide her feet and stay in front of her man to prevent a layup. The Marlins find Sabrina Jones running the floor. Push the Marlins lead to 10. That's 10 points there by Sabrina Jones. As the Mustang will call a timeout and we'll be right back. Marlins lead 12 to 2.
And we're back from that short timeout as the Marlins lead 12 to 2. Sabrina Jones with 10 points in the first quarter. She's gotten off to a hot start. Number 25, Elizabeth Vincent, has checked into the game for the Marlins. Vincent, the junior from Midlothian, Virginia. The Mustangs using the whole shot clock here. They get the offensive rebound, they throw up an air ball. He's back from Jess Jenny. Jenny's going to push it all the way up Jenny's and gets fouled. Foul. Like we were saying earlier, Jenny's doing a good job of starting to run fast break every time she gets a chance. Foul being on number 10, Carrington Towns. That'll be her first foul of the game. Jenny makes the first free throw. Jenny's going to miss the second free throw. As Vincent can't corral the offensive rebound off the missed free throw. Defense there by number 35, Daniel Landers. The ball's knocked out of bounds by Mack and Sweeney. Really good defense here by the Marlins so far. Doing a good job of making the Mustangs use the whole shot clock every time, making it tough on them to score. So three is off the top of the backboard. The Marlins with a really good defensive possession right there. Back comes Jennings. Between he'll spot up for three. This will knock it down from the corner. He sends the Marlins lead out to 16 to 2 here in the first. McSweeney with a nice spot up there from the corner. She took her time and set her feet and she knocked it down. She just Jennings with some good hands there on the defensive end. She knocks the ball away. Is just off the mark. Because back comes Jennings. <laughs> Jennings with a nice euro step inside. She converts the layup. She just keeps on going. <laughs> Under a minute here to play in the first quarter. Marlins lead 18 to two. Troy Bailey knocks the ball away. Nice move, but Amanda Lemons just can't convert off the floater. Marlins will look to hold for the final shot of the first quarter here. They lead by a score of 18 to 2. Things will pop it out to Latoya Gravely for the jumper. She'll knock it down. Marlins lead by a score of 20 to 2 here. About three seconds left to play in the first quarter. And there goes the Marlins lead by 18 here at the end of the first quarter.
And we're back here in the Batten Center. So Marlins take an 18-point lead into the second quarter as they lead by a score of 20 to 2. As Logan Carter has come back into the game, as well as number 25, Elizabeth Vincent. Marlins good defense here. Now you're going to go to a 3-2, 2 3 defense on the Mustangs. And number 11, Lindsey Hicks. And Vincent converts on her second try on the offensive rebound. Marlins push their lead to 20 here. Lindsey Hicks is also coming to the game for the Marlins. But as you said, the Marlins using more of a zone here to start out the second quarter. Mustangs really not running a lot of plays here. Just kind of swinging yeah. the ball around. Almost got the ball inside there. Just having a tough time scoring here tonight. Yeah, as Mac McSweeney comes up with, with the steal. She'll find Logan Carter. She'll miss the three. Lemons with the rebound. She'll bring it back out to the top of the key. The three is just off the mark. Some good defense off the offensive rebound by the Mustangs. Nice pass up ahead there by Carter, and Vincent will get it to go. Vincent with another offensive rebound as Mac McTooney couldn't convert. Mons lead here by 20, or lead by a score of 24 to 2. Blocked there by Carter. It's going to be Marlins basketball. Carter with some good defense there as she closed out on the jump, as on the shooter. Excuse me. Judea Edmonds has come back into the game for the Mustangs. Number 50, Sierra Coleman is checked back into the game for the Marlins. Vincent was looking good minutes off the bench. Just swing it back to Carter in the corner. Sierra Coleman converts off the offensive rebound. Marlins and Cruz lead out to 24 now. About seven and a half minutes split here in the first half. The defensive rebound. Foul ball number 32, Aaliyah Wiles. That's her first foul of the game. Check in for the morning. Foul beyond number 15, 32, Aaliyah Wiles. Collins. That'll be her first foul of the game. There's number 15, Caitlin Collins is checked into the game for Marlins. Kind of feels early on. You'll start getting some of the bench players some minutes here now for the Marlins. Yeah, yes, I think you'll see some players that the only way I get to play, I think you'll see some different people get minutes tonight. It's Coleman is fit that she turns it over. Defense here by the Marlins. Marlins doing a good job. It's staying down. We have another air ball here. They look inside for number 11, Lindsay Hit. She's hacked and she'll go to the free throw line for two. Tough foul there. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to the line and shoot two. Yeah, Evans, fourth foul of the game. And at the number 34, Clarice Smith will check back into the game for the Mustangs. Six misses the first free throw. This is both free throws. You see Eric Coleman down with the offensive rebound. It's Lindsay Hicks with a nice move inside. She converts the layup off the glass. Good ball movement there by the Marlins. Good job with taking their time and resetting on the offensive end <coughs> to find the layup inside. Mustangs just can't get anything to go here early on. Yeah. Lindsey Hicks miss on the reverse layup. She had the open man. Or she had the open shooter in the corner. I don't know why she didn't pass it out. She had three people around her. Great defense there by Javante White as she forces the turnover. Marlon's really showing, slowing down their pace a little bit. Javante White will go for mid range. So you're coming with the heads up play there. As the ball stay with the Marlins as she threw it off on the Mustang player. Marlins are up 20 to 2 here. About five minutes to go here in the first half. Caitlin Connell will knock down the jumper from the corner. To extend the Marlins lead to 28 as they lead by a score of 30 to 2. Marlins still using that zone. Those things are looking to get anything going here. As they just can't find the, just, just can't knock down a shot. <coughs> Devontae White almost comes up with the steal. Number 10, Jess Jennings. And number 21, Jasmine Williams check into the game for the Marlins. Lindsey Hicks controls on the defensive rebound. She turns it over. Looks like she was going to try to get out to Jess Jennings for three. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I guess she just needs here as well of immediate timeout as the Marlins lead by a score of 30 to 2.
and we're back from that timeout. Some Marlins have extended their lead to 30 to 2. As we were saying before that timeout, some Mustangs just haven't been able to find to hit a basket. They just struggled. As a man, the limits floaters off the mark. As that pass is just out of the reach of number 21, Jasmine Williams. But Jess James with the right idea there to try to push the ball to, to try to push the ball ahead to find a spot up shooter. Martin's doing a good job of playing solid defense and making the Mustangs use the whole shot clock. Caitlin Collins is called for a foul. Foul call number 15, Caitlin Collins. She's called for a block. That'll be her first foul of the game. <clears throat> Mustangs have to get it in. Foul call number 21, Jasmine Williams. That's her first foul of the game. Jasmine Williams is called for her first foul of the game. Amanda Lemons just can't get that jumper from about eight feet to go in off the backboard. The Mustangs will have a third chance here on the offensive end. Got some lucky runs here. Hope they can try to capitalize. The Marlins just haven't been able to come up with a rebound to close out this possession. <laughs> Jeff James will come up with the steal. She'll convert the layup. And the Mustangs will call a timeout as Marlins lead 32 to 2. And we'll be right back. back from that timeout as the Marlins have increased the lead to 30 here. The Mustangs look for Lyman's. Mustangs not doing a good job of moving without the ball here. Lemon's jumper almost goes in. This is one of the tough breaks they've been having all game here. Seven points here for Jennings here in the first half. Jennings converts the tough layup. This one is leading here by 32. <laughs> Just under two minutes left to play here. Frankly with a steal. Jennings. She'll convert yet another layup. This correction that was Jasmine Williams. Sorry about that. Came up with a steal. So Marlins lead by a score of 36 to 2. The Marlins with some active hands on the defensive end. Jennings will look to push the break yet again. 
Sierra Coleman just can't convert to Brennan Jones. So throw it out to Jennings. She'll launch a three. And Sierra Coleman is foul. Fouls on number 32, Aaliyah Riles. That'll be her second foul of the game. Jennings will inbound the ball for the Marlins. Sierra Coleman will convert the nice hook off the glass. Under a minute here to go in the half. Marlins lead 38-2. comes up with yet another steal. She'll look to go all the way. She converts another layup. Marlins lead by a score of 40 to 2. Jennings averages 12.7 in game. She's already at 11 here for the half. Under 15 seconds to go. Marlins handles the ball. She'll swing it around. And you get a shot off. She can't handle the pass. She wants a three from the corner and just off the back iron. As the Marlins lead by a score of 40 to 2 at half And we'll be back with the start of the second half.
we're back here with the start of the second half. The Marlins lead by a score of 40 to 2. Some notable performances for the Marlins. Jessica Jennings with 11 points. Sabrina Jones with 10. And 8 rebounds. You're in a double double. As the Marlins will start the second half, as Javante White brings it up. Sierra Coleman down with the offensive rebound. Javante White will knock down a nice, a nice jumper from about 15 feet. players scored in the first half. It's Marlins lead here by 40. Some more man. Marlins are going back. I going back to a man-to-man -man defense here against the Mustangs. Pushing up the floor against White. So throw it back to Coleman. And she'll make a layup. A really unselfish play there by Javante White. She found the trailer. Jess Jennings came up with the steal. She did a good job of pushing it ahead. So Edmonds will launch. So missed the three. Jennings with the defensive rebound. She'll push it ahead. Jennings looking to go all the way. She'll convert on the tough layup. Jennings now with 13 points on the game. Marlins lead by 44 here in the Baton Center. There's a nice block there by Sierra Coleman. She'll push it ahead to Jess Jennings yet again. Jennings with another layup. Jess Jennings with the layup. Jennings up to 15 points. Jennings season high is 19 against Christopher Newport. Now to 15 here in the third quarter. Jennings is trying to steal everything. <laughs> As well as four subs here for the Marlins. There's number 23, Latroya Gravely. Number 11, Lindsey Hicks. Number 35, Danielle Lanner. And number 33, Mac McSweeney will check into the game. Marlins looking to get some, some more people minutes here tonight. Fire gravely tips that pass away. Marlins lead by a score of 48 to 2. And double team here by the Marlins. They force a shot clock violation. Marlins doing a good job of playing fundamental, fundamentally sound defense. Excuse me. Under eight minutes here to play in the third quarter. for Daniel Lehner. Back out to Hicks. Hicks on the drive. Lindsey Hicks with a nice Lindsay drive. Hicks. And using the rim as protection. She can pitch the layup off the glass to extend the Marlin lead to 48. Marlin still using that zone. Lindsay Hicks comes up with the steal. You know, this is the first season under Liz Hootie for the women's basketball team here at Virginia Wesleyan. Um, off to a rough start. They started off the season 1-5, and five, now 3-11. and 11. They are 2-6 and six in the ODAX. There's a lot of room for improvement in this young roster, mostly led by Jess Jennings, freshman. Yeah. Lindsay Hicks is fouled on that drive. It should go to the free throw line for two. But as you were saying, you know, the Marlins really lost a lot last year when you lose somebody like Jayla Harris. 
when you, you lose a couple key scores and rebounders. Jayla Harris was all ODAC, all ODAC team of the year for the Marlins. I believe she also was an All-American. Yeah. Yeah. The six misses both free throws. The Mustangs chase down the, the rebound off the miss. As Edmonds will launch another three. She just can't get anything to go. As White will bring it back out. Pick it out to Gravely. Flander tips it out. If you're hearing many chances to shoot it from the crowd to the Marlin players. Lindsey Hicks will miss a jumper off the front of the rim. Nice rebound there by the Mustangs. I think it's stolen right back. Devontae White comes up with the steal. Marlins really trying to use some of the clock here, I guess. Still swinging around the perimeter. They look inside for Lanner. Tomorrow, let's turn it over. Edmonds will launch for three. Got a glance off the rim. Lanner with a nice rebound there. Mike pushes up the floor. Takes a convert on the way up. In the Marlin lead to 50. Yes, you heard that right. They lead by 50 here. Just under. Or with just over five minutes left to play in the third quarter. It really is just a tough game for both teams. No team really want to see this game play out like this. Yeah, we could, you never want to see a game like this. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't really benefit most either team here. Yeah, none of the players on either team really get better. And it, a game like this just makes you develop bad habits. Just gravely misses on the drive. His lemon's down with the rebound. She'll push it ahead for the Mustangs. Edmonds can't convert on the floater. The ball belonged to the Marlins as it was tipped out of bounds. Will of immediate timeout as a moment to see by the score of 52 to 2. We're back after that short media timeout. This is the Marlins have extended their lead to 50. Under five minutes now here in the third quarter. Devontae White will pass it inside here. Flamero miss on the layup, or on the floor, excuse me. Flamers will kick it out. Mac McSweeney, as McSweeney's called for the kickball violation. But as we were saying earlier, this is really a tough game for both teams. You don't really develop any good habits from a game like this. Virginia Wrestling, after today's game, will be at home again on Saturday against Lynchburg. 
And Mid Atlantic Christian will head to Patrick Henry on Friday. That's a nice trap in the corner there by the Marlins. Zemmons will launch the floater as it just rims out. Devontae White will look to push the ball ahead. The ball is tipped away by number three, Amanda Lemons. Some more subs here for the Marlins. Number 21, Jasmine Williams checks in, as well as number 15, Caitlin Collins. It's Caitlin Collins looking down the ball for the Marlins. Swinging around, looking inside for Williams. As Williams hits the layup on the drive. Her first basket of the day. Some more zone defense here by the Marlins. And yet a, another turnover here by the Mustangs. Mustangs in the first half had eight turnovers. Number 25, Elizabeth Vincent has checked in again for the Marlins. Because the Marlins have just extended their lead. I think for the Marlins in a game like this, we really just have to focus on ball movement on the offensive end. They've done a good job there. And after the, Danielle Luna converts on the layup. It's a nice pass there by Jasmine Williams along the baseline. That was her first basket of the day. Also, I think the Marlins can work on their communication on the defensive end. This is a must. I believe another turn around. Hopefully this is going to be a learning experience here for, hopefully for, for both teams. Yeah. As Amanda Lemons comes up with the steal. Javante White, call for the foul. foul Lemons will go to the free throw line. Lem is the junior from Woodbridge, Virginia. Lem is a knock down the first free throw. This she'll miss the second free throw. Let's get a little sloppy there. Just swing around the perimeter yet again. Javante White with that nice little head fake there along the baseline. Daniel Lander. It's the way it just roll off the front of the rim. One thing you can say with this Mustangs, they're still, still energized, you know, even with the tough score here. Yeah, just hasn't been their day. Tonight's game. Mustang's really using the whole shot clock here. Evans a launch from three point range. Jasmine Williams will miss the wide open layup on the balloon. Williams will miss the three. Devontae White down with the offensive rebound. Williams again. He's going to make it in off the glass from about seven feet away. Two points for her so far today. Her first basket. Under 30 seconds here to go in the third quarter. Williams will miss the three out there. Right side of the room. His minds will look to hold the ball here for the last shot of the third quarter. It's 
why it'll handle it out, up top. So look inside for Lana out the wings. So swing around to Vincent. She'll miss the And that is the end of the third quarter. We'll be back here for the first. We're back here for the start of the fourth quarter. And just as a, out of respect here for Mid Atlanta Christian, we're not going to be talking about the score for the rest of the game. The Mustangs are still playing here with heart and dedication. Hard fought game here. Yeah, that's one thing you have to give them. Is they just they kept playing, even though it hasn't been their best day. The energy level hasn't dipped here for their offense all game. Still fighting for the loose boards and everything. Mm -hmm. One thing about the Mustangs here, they only offer one senior on the roster. That is number two, or number four, Sarah Becker, excuse me. Josh Jennings will kick it out to Jasmine Williams. This her jumper just moves out. Ms. Jennings was already running back on, on defense. Out of their six players playing tonight here for Mid-Atlantic Christian, four are freshmen, you have one sophomore, and you have one junior in Amanda Lemons. This is a really young roster here. Foul ball number 32, Leo Riles. That's her third foul of the game. That'll be Leo Riles' third foul of the game. Just Jennings will push up the floor here. Mons are really kind of slowed down here on the offensive end. I think out of respect for their opponent, it's just really tried to work. It's three second call here on the Marlins. On the I mean, Mustang basketball. One thing to know here for the Mid-Atlantic Christians, Jadea Edmonds is from Norfolk, Virginia. Uh -huh. Shout out Norfolk. Yeah. As Edmonds turns it over, unfortunately. It's Coach Charles Trossel tries to gather his team. On the offensive end. So Marlins turn it right turn it right back over to the Mustangs. So Coach Troxel is telling his players to move without the ball. Some quick passing here by the Mustangs. Able to get inside and draw the foul. Sierra Coleman is called foul for a foul. 50, Sierra Coleman. That's her first foul of the game. That'll be her first foul of the game. Number 32, Alea Riles. We'll head to the line. Riles. 
Files taking her time at the line. She hits the first free throw. As Lindsay Hicks looks to check back in for the Marlins. Riles will make both free throws. As Hicks will check back into the game for number 25, Elizabeth Vincent. Especially in the last two games, though, Elizabeth Vincent's really played or played pretty well off the bench for the Marlins as she's become another rebounder for them. More of a playmaker. As number 33, Sarita Smith has checked back into the game for the Mustangs. Jennings commands the offense for the Marlins. They look inside for Hicks. Jennings will pop it back out to Williams. Her jumper is just off the mark. Under eight minutes here to play in the fourth quarter. Lindsey Hicks comes up with a steal. Another turnover here by the Mustangs, but the Marlins will retain possession. As she dribbled the ball off Amanda Lemons' foot. <laughs> Caitlin Collins will launch. The jumper is just off. Converts the floater off the glass. Evans with her third and fourth points on the on the night. Holman will pop it back out to Jenny. She'll go all the way. She's foul. Foul number 32, Aaliyah Riles. That's her fourth foul of the game. That'll be Aaliyah Riles' fourth foul of the game. Jennings will go to the line. That's number five, Javante White. Number 33, Mac McSweeney. And number 23, Latoya Gravely will check into the game. Or, excuse me. Just Latoya Gravely and Mac McSweeney check in. Jennings hits the first free throws. Now Javante White will check in. Or as well as the Mustangs timeout. As Javante White will be in the game when we come back. We're back after that short timeout. Jennings will look to shoot her second free throw. Now Javante White will check into the game for Josh Jennings. Three is knocked down by number 33, Sarita Smith. Lindsay 
Matthew Hicks forces the jump ball. Marlins will retain possession here. Number 10, Carrington Towns is checked back in the game for the Mustangs. Rollins going back to their back to their zone, back to their zone defense here. Mm -hmm. Sierra Coleman is called for a foul. Foul call number fifty. Sierra Coleman. That's her second foul. Her second foul of the game. And at the line for the Mustangs, number thirty-four, Clarice Smith. Number thirty-four, Clarice Smith will go to the free throw line. Sabrina Jones will check back into the game for the Marlins. Smith misses the first free throw. Under six minutes to play. Sabrina Jones, uh, yeah, Sabrina Jones can't go right on the layup. Carried in, it would get it inside, and a foul. This is Lindsay Hicks is fouled and showed that the free throw. Foul number 10, Carrington Towns. That's her second foul of the game. Media timeout. Media timeout. And we'll be right back. And we're back from that timeout. Lindsay Hicks will go to the free throw line for tomorrow. Six on knocks down the first free throw.
And Hicks nails the second one. Now eight points on the day for her. Hicks, who early, in, early on in this game really kind of struggled at the free throw line. But she does a good job there. She knocks them both down. The Mustangs was a little more moving off the walls. Evans a launch. It's gravely down with the rebound. Let's bring it back to Gravely and she'll pop the jumper. Sabrina Jones with yet another rebound. So with the Marlins. It's Daniel Leonard checks Second back into the game. This is Sabrina Jones is likely done for the night. More subs here for the Marlins. Under four minutes to play. Now in for the Marlins. Number 15, Caitlin Collins. And number 21, Jasmine Williams. Number 15, Caitlin Collins. And number 21, Jasmine Williams. Second of the game for the Marlins. Simmons with a nice head fake there. Javante White will slow it down. Turn it over. Down. Smith for two. By Sarita Smith. She has five points on the day. Jasmine Williams will shoot another jumper. She'll knock that Jasmine down. Williams, Williams with six points on the day. Excellent down the ball for the Marlins. Devontae White will bring him to the floor. Marlins really uses the clock here. Ball staying in the Marlins end of the court. So Lindsey Hicks just couldn't convert on the layup. Wide a launcher jumper. Ball's off Daniel Lanner. He's going to go back to the Mustang. Slamish jumper brings out. As Aaliyah Riles is able to come up with the offensive rebound and come up with the putback as she knocks down the layup. Now less than two minutes here in regulation. Final launch. She'll knock down the jumper. White, who's really kind of struggled tonight on the offensive end, shooting the ball. One thing to note here, 
And the Marlins will advance to 4 and 11 on the season. The Mustangs will fall to 4 and 7. Edmonds is foul. And she'll go to the free throw line for two. Foul number 35, Danielle Lennon. That's her first foul of the game. That'll be Danielle Lennon's first foul of the game. Edmonds makes the first free throw. She misses the second free throw and Lindsay Hicks with a defensive rebound. Yeah. Lindsay Hicks comes up with the steal. She misses the layup. We are now in the final minute of regulation. to shoot the ball. Shavante wide of the Can't convert on the jumper. Leah Riles comes up with another offensive rebound. She'll convert off the glass. Now six points on the game. As the Marlins will likely not even take a last shot due to the deficit. Marlins will be at home again on Saturday against Lynchburg as Mid Atlantic Christian will head to Patrick Henry on Friday. Back here at Virginia Wesleyan at 2 p.m. on Saturday, January 18th. Marlins win over Mid Atlantic Christian 66 to 17. And for me, I'm Nicholas Mundy. And I'm Bailey Chope. Thank you for listening.